Hey guys, JH and Mr. X on a blustery uh, practice tee. It's probably 40 k's into us today. We're worried about the camera getting blown over, but a good day to test ball flight uh, capabilities of uh, channel lock. Now guys, today's video is about options for channel lock. Mr. X has been working on his own uh, his own option for channel lock and he's come up with something that's quite interesting and I think it could be a benefit to you guys. I've got my my Yogi lock um, he's got he's got this new one and we haven't got a name for it yet but guys the reason I want to give options for channel lock okay we may only end up with four or five options but the last time I looked on the internet I googled up ways to swing a golf club and I came up with 1.6 million hits so there's 1.6 million different ways that you can swing a golf club that people th think uh, should be applied to golf. Now we're only going to have five, maybe six options, but the good thing is we've got options to suit people. You can't swing the club exactly as I do or exactly as Mr. X does or with the same specific thoughts that we have because you're not us and we're not you. So we just want to give you options. Now Mr. X has come up with something interesting with irons. I've been trying it I've been on my Yogi lock which I love and it gives me so much uh, uh, power and precision and accuracy but uh, now the one hanging on the bag there thanks uh, yeah so I like that but what I'm what I'm what I'm really excited about this wind is so strong guys what I'm really excited about is uh, is this this process for irons for hitting irons because it's an entirely different process okay now you have to speak up today because we've got a, an audio uh, a lot of wind so you just tell the tell the viewers <laughs> what you're uh, what you've come up with um, okay well basically uh, I've, I've got an image in my head now of how I want the club to hit the ball um, what you know a, a mental image of how the club is going to enter the back of the ball, connect with the ball, and go past the ball. Um, in doing so, it's, it's just giving me a reassurance of, uh, of club face and club path. Um, in, in saying that too, it, it, it gives me a more attack at the ball rather than a swing through the ball. Okay, now we had this a couple of months ago, guys. Remember when I said the intention of channel lock for me was that the target was the golf ball and I, my whole intention was to put the golf club on the ball never worried about anything else, none of this swing into the target I want to release the club to the target but I wanted the club to hit the ball now that's what he's thinking about he's thinking about his only thought process in the golf swing is to swing down and at the golf ball and it goes at the golf ball and through the golf ball and where it goes from there it doesn't matter now when, and, and he continues on what, when I do that I get the feeling that my at the golf ball is so profound and so pronounced that the golf club basically feels like it's all over after it's gone there and it doesn't matter what it does after that and it, the forward swing for me is actually chopped off a little bit but that's just the way I perceive it he has a more full full uh, full swing uh, through the ball than I do but it's been it's been an exhibition the last couple of days I promise you I've been I've never I've seen some guys hit some balls over the years and his best hits in the last couple of days are as good as anybody I've ever seen. As anybody I've ever seen. His good shots were just spectacular. I never saw Sneed uh, when he was young, but I saw him when he came to Australia and gave an exhibition at the Lakes Golf Club in the mid-70s, I think it was. And Sneed was born in 1912, so, you know, he was, he was, you know, he was elderly then. But he hit it beautifully, and his tempo was exactly the same as Mr. X has been demonstrating. So without any further ado, we'll just let him hit some shots and mate just um, just just do a running commentary on what you on what you're feeling. Okay. But but speak up because I'm gonna be out of uh, I'm gonna be away. Okay, so everything everything up to the point of swinging is still channel lock. Uh, I'm I'm placing the ball at the rear of my, my feet off my right toe. I'm having a slight back cock position with my shoulders 
I want to feel, this is, this is new to me, I want to feel like I'm looking under the back of the ball. You said that early on today. So, so I feel, I get this feeling of looking under at the rear quarter, inside quarter of the back of the ball. That, that's, that's only new to me in the last couple of days. So what that does to me, that gives me a spine angle correction and a five o'clock nose. A big one though, a big one. When you're looking under that ball, if you're looking under it, you're okay. basically tilting your head and looking under it with your left it. eye with yes. your left eye yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and in doing so you're trying to maintain that through the through the um, the entire downswing but when I say downswing I'm not talking about you know finishing finishing to a high point or anything my downswing now is from here to there that's it that's all, the intention a, that's the intention it's all over yeah um, well, that's what I feel when I do it. The force of the action is going to continue to pull the club around. Yeah, yeah, that's um, the releasing of the energy, yeah. Uh, but, but as a feeling, all I'm doing is into the ball. Hitting at the ball. At the ball. And it's all over. Yep. Well, um, we'll just, as long as you stay in this general area, yeah. you'll be okay. Yeah. Um, so in, in doing so, it's, it's created, created a lot more speed for me. Yep. Um, because I'm concentrating on the energy there rather than, you know, rather than swinging the whole golf club to the finish, which is what we've all been taught. Um, well, we'll see how it goes. All right. You just do that. I'll just check the camera and make sure that we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. Okay, guys, I'll just do a side commentary while he's doing it. Okay. So I've got my, uh, my basic, uh, channel lock position, bringing my shoulders closed slightly, and I just want to look under the back of the ball, and from the backswing, I just want to bring the club into the back of the ball, into that left quarter. Well, we'll just have a practice swing first, because we haven't hit any shots, so we just want to have so a, it's... to get the feeling. Okay, now just back that tempo down a little bit. See, when he gets in front of the camera, he gets camera tempo. Yeah, okay, now, now just I just want to settle him down because the the, the, the tempo that he had yesterday uh, it was just exquisite. It was it was Sneed tempo. I couldn't believe it. I was beside myself. I hadn't seen anyone do it since I saw Sneed. Um, I'm also, uh, as per a couple of videos ago, trying to maintain my right elbow on on my side on okay. my ribs okay. as, as much as I can in the backswing. In the backswing, as a feeling, and in the downswing. Okay, now we'll, we'll elaborate a little bit on that. What Bill Phillips has found, and what I had, which which I called the trombone ages ago, or the choo-choo train. What what Bill Phillips has got going at MMI Golf at the moment is this trail arm is doing this, which is very much a Mo Norman action. Mo Norman just took his his trail arm back like that. Now I call that a low trombone. That's a high trombone. This is a low trombone. So if you if you're here and you just go back here guys the arm goes here and they just go straight there it's just a zip zip it's a choo-choo it's choo choo the arm on the choo-choo it's a choo-choo shot yeah so it's interesting that bill phillips is actually talking about that right now bill and i are very synchronistic we have very much the same wavelength tune up or tuning into Well, the wind, that's an amazing shot into the wind. I mean, the wind is really strong. Um, and with, you were saying the choo-choo. See, I've got a little bit of variation on that. I try not to let my elbows slide past my Oh, yeah, that's right, because you just I, want to turn the body button, don't I you? I try to turn with it okay. staying on, on my hip. Okay, guys, all part of the options and variations that you can do. You can do a choo-choo or, or you can just, you know, uh, super glue there and just turn the belly button. Gunslinger. The gunslinger, absolutely. But we want to give you options. It, it does come away slightly. You'll see, you know, oh, yeah, everybody in, in does, the yeah. force of the, the backswing, yep. it's going to come away. But for all intensive purposes, I want to try and feel that I keep it there. Okay. It's strong, guys. It's probably 50 k's now. See your target. Now, guys, just see how economical that golf swing is. There's not a lot of uh, range of movement in that golf swing at all. The, the, the length of it is not, 
is not extreme at all, but that's a very powerful shot. We're heading into a 50k wind here, and uh, I mean, that's just blowing itself out there, isn't it? See your target. Now really, and I'm trying to get Mr. X, uh, like I did in that those targeting videos the other day. Every shot we hit here, we want to hit at a specific target. So take this one to the right of that sign, and then the next one uh, inside that other shot sign there. See it and feel it and taste it. See your target. That's a hole in one. Just chalk up a one on that. That's a one. Oh, how good was that? Better tempo that time. Oh, yeah, it was good tempo. How good was the flight? Very good. As a result of the tempo. Well, of course, <laughs> of course. Okay, we'll go. And it's always hard to come on camera and, and, and perform. But the good thing about Channel Lock, what we're finding is that we just don't have periods where we have, where we hit stinkers. Where stinkers are not stinkers at all. Can you see the target? Okay, feel the target. Okay. I mean, that was just clipped, wasn't it? And the the swing is finishing about yeah, here. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's all over here. Yeah. This is this is where I want to finish the swing, but the momentum is just continuing the arms along the uh, the path. <coughs> Okay, we'll try and go a little bit this way. Here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go a long way left. This time aim at the shed. Okay. N now, there's a big orientation change here. We've come around, we've come around, yeah, you know, probably 100 yards yep. in terms of uh, lining up. Outside of the shed, not just the shed. Perfect. Just get yourself a line. Yep. I'll hit, um... Just, just come back here. But you, you're actually just the, sh the shot went dead straight, but you just aimed a little bit to the right. Yep. And I, and that happens, guys, if you're doing this all the time. If you're operating from here, from beside the ball, you have to be the discipline. We've got to get back here, and uh, and see it and feel it. Can you feel now why you're I, aiming I can, a little bit yeah. right? I mean, yeah, the I, shot was perfect, but just aiming it right. I do have that habit on the range. I'll, I'll yeah, just yeah. sort of not focus too much. Yeah, that was good contact. That's perfect contact. All right, now this one, just uh, do everything the same, come back here, line up, but really, really work on five o'clock nose. And just and this time I just just really feel like it's just it's all over at the ball. Yep. Wow, it's windy. Uh, it's just killed. Killed. That was that was the best one. Yeah. Because I, I had that feeling again of slicing into the back of the ball with the with the cup. Okay, okay, show us what you mean. So in my head I've got this feeling of I want to feel the club coming into the ball, hitting the back of the ball, and the ball coming off the club. And that the, the club is entering on a downward angle into the ground. So so it's yeah well I mean that that's what we normally do when we hit an iron anyway, but you're but you're quite profoundly thinking that it's it, it's going down, it's going out and it's continuing to go down and out. That's After correct. the ball's gone, it just keeps going down and out, forever going to China. But you're not you're not going through the ground a lot. But no. but the perception is that you want to. After the ball. Do you want to, do you want to hit a uh, a three wood into that wind? Okay. Yeah, just get the three wood. Yeah, he's uh, he's been really killing the fairway woods lately. I mean. Uh, He's just gone back to uh, to playing a little bit now, and he's just hitting three wood, just unbelievable. I'll use that tee. Yeah, just tee it up. Yeah. Now we've got a really hard wind here, guys, and to get the 
to get to three wood here at the moment anywhere past 2.30 is just really hard. Well, it's just, dropped, just dropped a little I've bit. I've got the same feeling. I want to feel, I mean, most of the fairway woods you, you want to sweep. Yeah. This, I want to feel like the iron, I'm coming down, descending into the into the back of the ball. So you're squeezing it. Squeezing it out. Yeah, see, Tiger squeezes it. Henrik Stenson, all those guys, as they squeeze the ball. I've noticed a little bit of a change of trajectory. It's not as high as I usually hit it. Yeah. But the length and the and the direction is much better. Right. Okay, see you, Tiger. Okay, well, uh, where are we going to go? Just just go just go to red car. Okay. You won't, you won't get anywhere near that car, I wouldn't think. No. See it? Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Just okay, the breeze, breeze pushed it a little bit. Yeah, but that's up to the car. Very close. No, that 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 car is just not in play. But you're up you're up to that car with a range ball. Yeah, that's flush city. Yeah, yeah, I've still got that feeling of coming into the back of the ball and as if the club was going to just shallowly go past the ball, mm -hmm. not dig in, but just just on a shallow angle. I want to have this on my el my elbow on my ribs. Elbow on the ribs, yeah. Just didn't maintain my um, five o'clock nose. It was still a great shot. So he's getting very discerning now. If he hits at anything but 100%, he's down well, on I, himself. I got up, up out yeah, of the shot. The, the shot was still good. The ball flight was great. Um, eminently playable. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be, you're not going to, you're not going to miss any target with that. Yeah. It's just, just a little left or right it's of it. Just, you do notice now yeah. when you haven't got the five o'clock nose or yeah. the um, or the other the other protocols. Mm. Yeah, it's perfect flight. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. I felt I felt like I was back here at impact. Yeah. Like my chest was still facing behind the ball. Yeah, okay, so he's, uh, he said that before, and, and he was saying that he gets a lot of feeling of, of, of you know, of this the spine being tilted here, and he's back here. There's never any of the wing, wanting to be in front of the golf ball, feeling here all the time, which is a little bit uh, opposite to uh, to convention. All right. Anything else? No. All right. Well, we'll just we'll just break here. I've got a couple of other things, but I've forgotten them. And we'll come up and we'll hit some shots each other, and you can see the difference in the application. He can talk me through a few shots. 